the islands we dream of visiting, white sand beaches, clear blue waters and vibrant coral reefs are disappearing faster than we can imagine. Today, we're going to take you on a journey to five of the most vulnerable islands on Earth, where entire nations are fighting for survival. Number 5. Solomon Islands Our first stop brings us to the Solomon Islands, an archipelago of over 900 islands scattered across the Pacific. This remote paradise, home to around 690,000 people, is facing a crisis that's too big to ignore. In the past few years, the Solomon Islands have already lost five of their smaller islands to rising tides. Erosion is eating away at the shorelines, and salt water is creeping into freshwater sources, leaving communities without clean water. By 2050, experts predict that much of the Solomon Islands could be uninhabitable. People here are already making difficult decisions about their future, some even leaving their ancestral lands for good. Number 4. Marshall Islands Next, we head to the Marshall Islands, a nation of 29 atolls and over 1,100 islands scattered across the vast Pacific Ocean. Home to around 60,000 people, the Marshall Islands' very existence is now at stake. With an average elevation of just two metres above sea level, the islands are on the front line of the climate crisis. Already, flooding is a frequent occurrence, and every year the high tides push further inland, swallowing roads, homes and agricultural land. By 2080, much of the Marshall Islands could be completely submerged, and the people here are not just dealing with the loss of land, but the loss of their culture, traditions and way of life. As they plead for action on the global stage, their fight is becoming a symbol of the existential threat posed by climate change. Number 3. Tuvalu At number 3, we find Tuvalu, one of the smallest countries on Earth. This island nation consists of just nine islands, covering only 26 square kilometres. With a population of just 11,000, Tuvalu is one of the most vulnerable places on Earth. Rising sea levels have already begun to wash away Tuvalu's beaches, and storm surges regularly flood its streets. The very land they live on is slowly disappearing beneath the waves, and by 2050, experts predict that this entire nation could be uninhabitable. People in Tuvalu are already talking about migrating, but for many, leaving their homeland, their history, their way of life, it's an unimaginable thought. And yet, it's a reality that's becoming harder to avoid. Number 2. Kiribati Now we travel to Kiribati, a nation of 33 atolls spread across 811 square kilometres of the central Pacific. The islanders here have watched as rising tides slowly submerge parts of their homeland. Kiribati's average elevation is just two metres above sea level and the nation's entire existence is under threat. Already the salt water has poisoned freshwater supplies, making farming increasingly difficult. Whole communities are being forced to move inland, but the land is limited. The government of Kiribati has already bought land in Fiji to create a potential haven for its people. But with a population of 120,000, the reality is that their options are running out. By 2050, Kiribati may be one of the first nations to become completely uninhabitable. Number 1. Maldives And finally, we reach the Maldives, the crown jewel of tropical islands, renowned for its luxurious resorts and turquoise waters. But beneath this paradise lies a ticking clock. With an average elevation of just 1.5 metres, the Maldives is the world's lowest-lying country, if current trends continue, the Maldives could be entirely submerged by 2100. While the government has been actively raising awareness through dramatic measures, such as holding underwater cabinet meetings, the Maldives is already facing the consequences of rising sea levels. Coastal areas are flooding more frequently and infrastructure is slowly being washed away. These islands aren't just places on a map, they're vibrant communities, rich in history and culture. Their fate is a direct reflection of the choices we make today. 
If we don't act, these islands, and many more like them, could be lost forever. What are we doing to protect these places? The clock is ticking and the time to act is now. Please like, share and subscribe to help raise awareness. Let us know in the comments, what can we do together to make a change?